previously in Freycom. I'm here with Rudy, time for Musk Up. And Rudy, I just recently discovered that you had a YouTube channel. I had Did no you? idea. <laughs> yeah, somebody must have been sharing it, but. Sent of the day was uh, Diorum Parfum. Okay, excellent. I love that stuff. Very powdery. And I'll, I'll share my scent of the day, which is also a powder bomb. This is Gucci's A Virgin Violet, which is a a nice floral, uh, makeup-y, um, you know, that cosmetic-y lipstick thing going on. Actually, yeah, you know, they've got that nice uh, nice design in the bottle, like yeah, those lines there. The, the cap is really heavy. The magnet is one of the strongest magnets that I've uh, encountered in a, on a fragrance. And the uh, atomizer is pressurized. So it sprays like the uh, Dior's, which I'm not surprised because this is LVMH. You can kind of feel the same aesthetics in a way. They are LVMH? They are, yeah. Ah, oh, I did not know that. I never even thought about that. But that's interesting. Okay. And the juice color on all of them is is like this color. Reptile is a little bit darker. So it right, very light. Bit, actually. Yeah, it'll probably it's not coming through, but it's a, it's it's got a decent uh color to it. Artisans, uh, they have one with Play Doh, oh. the one from Bertrand Duchefort. Is that Bois Farin? No, no. That's um that's the peanut butter. Yeah, the peanut butter one, yeah. Is it Travesse? Yes. Boss Ford to Travesse. Yeah, that one is beautiful. I have that one. Yeah, they're all very earthy. They're all very fresh. Um almost damp. Like they're they're they've got this cooling effect because the lily of the valley grows in the shade, right? Yeah, I don't so think it does very good in the sun. So they are very, very shady. What's up, Neil? Um speaking of shady. <laughs> <laughs> the timing on that was balls man <laughs> what's up neil it's much cheaper for me too to order from there but i had ordered once and tracking said my package was here and i i couldn't find it for two weeks and i eventually found out that the package came to canada and it was missing information it got shipped back to paris and then they had to send it again. And from the day I ordered it to the day I received it was one month. I was furious. Jesus Christ. It's like, I want my <laughs> fucking perfume. I can't I be happy was, until I, I get my the second perfume. time you ordered. The, the weird part is, is that I literally picked it up about a month or two ago. Yeah, Ombre Eternal? Yeah, I found a bottle from a guy in Oman. The thing that got me was that apparently that the ambergris in it is real. Yeah, it is. When he was in Toronto, I asked him, is it real ambergris? He's like, of course it's real ambergris. He whips out his cell phone and he starts scrolling through his iPhone looking for the pictures. Uh -huh. He bought it off some guy in New Zealand and he, it looks like a brain, eh? Literally, it was no bigger than this. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is bigger than most brains. The first time I wore this, I almost threw up about three hours in. <laughs> Did it just really? reminded me of like death, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that ambergris kicked in. Oh, it's beautiful. But it is. That was just, man. Just it it just, on. I felt like I had a living organism on my skin. That it, it, it really is beautiful. That one, you know, it was funny. I actually mentioned it with Patrick. I spoke with when you unlock, it's like a level. It's like a, a level in a video game and unlock what? female fragrance like female leaning fragrances or like because technically the whole perfume industry is built around women for the most part and that's probably 70 percent of the fragrances out there yeah so it's like once you get that that cheat code and you unlock it it's like there's like a whole nother world you know a whole nother level to the game so after after discovering feminine fragrances for yourself what do you think is the block for most guys what scares them off like the main the main thing that was really on my mind it's not that you know i would feel less of a man for wearing it the the main thing for me was would somebody notice right you get like the feeling like you get into the car with your friends and it's just like it's like yeah. it's not like a you know what i mean like you smell yeah. like a girl you know what i mean like right right 
<laughs> it's just like, well, what do you really say? It's like, oh, the, the girl was rubbing off on me. Like, that's why, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like 1932 is fucking beautiful. I love that stuff. The aldehyde, peach, iris. It's it's really good, but I don't really find that. Floral? I wouldn't call it a floral fragrance either. I mean, it's just pure musk. Do you give flowers to guys? I've gotten flowers from women before. Maria bought me flowers. I, I These should probably have been thrown away, but um, I've got flowers for Valentine's Day. I love getting flowers. Yeah, back uh, up. There's so nothing that, wrong with that. I, I was actually going to say it before up, uh, I kept going, but it's it's known for guys to give florals to a woman. And then there's some floral. I think carnation is. Oh, I love carnation. A spicy carnation. carnation, yeah. And like geranium, I guess that's... I like don't know. Carnation thing. to me is all like masculine. Yeah. I don't find carnation feminine at all. No, it's kind of bitter. I kind of find yeah. it. Bitter, leathery, dry. Carnation uh, is nice. Mm. And that's the one in Derby. I have Derby. I got a pizzeria not too far from here. Go get us some pizza. Yo, we'll watch you eat. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> We'll do another mukbang. I bought a Snickers in case I get hungry. Go for it, man. Why wait? I've got eight. From Tell us more, David. David was let down by Toba Kolar. Was it butch? Was it romantic? Was it mainstream? I know what he's going to say. Was it too simple? Exactly what we thought. If if it was still pre days... That that one probably would have been really really good. That you know sounds I mean? like a candle. The, the the way a candle would smell like something that you'd find in indigo. I had the smell in my head already when I saw the uh, the blurb on it. They showed like that caramelized peach kind of looked like. Right. Surprised they're using peach. And I knew that they weren't gonna amp up the smoke in it, which I guess I'm kind of happy that I guess I can save two fifty. Right. Hyped up, you know, so I was stupid at the time. So I freaking bought those fucking things. I was not prepared. I remember spraying on into man and epic man. I was like, oh my god, I'm like, what? I'm like, I feel like I'm in a chimney right now. I'm like, I'm like, how do I'm like, how does anybody wear this stuff? I'm like, this is insane. Yeah, <laughs> and I was just like, oh man, I, I was like, you know, this is going back. I'm like, this yeah, is they're work. very heavy. It's like wearing a knapsack all day. But but now weights in it. But now I, I went back. Epic Man, I still can't. Epic Man is like all smoke. I think but. Epic Man, Epic Man to me, I don't know if it's just the color of the bottle, but reminds me of Polo, original Polo, the green <laughs> bottle. But not as good as Polo. Wearing too much interlude can kill you. It's so strong. It's, especially it, the vintage. And that oregano and stuff. <laughs> it, it was the oregano, I like. I like those spiky <laughs> notes. Yeah, they've got body as well, but the amouages drill me like right in the brain. You know, it's like it's like taking this and just fucking all day just doing this. You know, yeah. over and over. The weather there is so hot, <laughs> and they wear that stuff. I mean, it's insane. It's like they wear like these big ouds, and <sighs> maybe the trick is you got to wear them in the summertime. You said it once. I like my fragrance to kind of play peekaboo. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you forget about it and then you smell right. it. You know, you move your arm somewhere and you smell it. I, I like that. But to like sit there, maybe like at work all day and you're just getting, you know, blasted in the face with That's something that you're wearing, it gets like taking hockey pucks in the face all day. Literally. It That's very, it gets very cloying. So I, I, quickly learned uh there was a pattern with interlude when i wore interlude man and it was every time i wore interlude i got angry i felt very angry in my days and i was like what the hell's going on here and it, i don't know if interlude just carries this kind of energy or has that vibration but i would end up being so pissed off at the end of the day i see it i got pissed off when i smelled them for the first time when I apply fragrance and depending on the concentration, how strong or, or how light it is. So if it's something like, let's say interlude, I will spray farther away from me 
But if it's something more airier, like a Hermes, I will spray very close. Yeah. I want I want to puddle up that spray. So, man, I almost choked the first time I smelled Bellamy. Oh, this is the vetiver. Hang on. <clears throat> ah, here it is. You know what's great about them is they're so smoky, both of them. Bellamy and uh, fetish. Yeah, it's like barbecue smoke, like putting spices on the uh, on the barbecue rack. This reminds me right now of a thurible in church. You know the the guy goes around and he incenses. Yeah, yeah. That that's what I get. And yeah. this right now is barbecue smoke. Like throw spices on a, a spice rack, a barbecue Fet rack. Fetish is lovely. They're both gorgeous. I, he always throws in a little castorium I'm getting in them. Yeah. Yeah. I got to wear this soon. That's the shit part about having a large collection is you can't really enjoy everything. Yep. Right. Oh, How can you nice. tell if the Lalabo goes bad? I think they're all just bad. <laughs> no. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I, got, I saw that coming. I like another 13 too. It's just so easy to wear. That's my favorite one. The Oud is freaky. It's the, like freaky good. The only thing I pictured in my mind is the the description you have of just like this damp, like bar cloth that they've been wiping down all single day with all the random alcohol. Dude, that's what I get. If you've and ever they, and like it just cloth, yeah. And then <laughs> they just ring it into the bottle. Let me spray tabac. And Tain Noir is horrible. I don't enjoy tabak. It's just this really heavy amber, a little bit herbal, a little bit earthy. Very heavy. But oud is it's it's bipolar. Oud is so good. The, the oud, I didn't know why, but I I enjoyed it. Although like, it, was the, it was the weirdest thing. Like if you took old gym socks and, and threw them in the washing machine, but didn't start it up and came back a week later. MFK, oh. Le Labo, and Byredo. Oh, MFK. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, MFK, Grand at least, at least he has like some nice pieces, right? Yeah. They might they, not be moody. They're enjoyable. They're right. Enjoyable. Three vetiver perfumes for the rest. Man, this is easy. Guerlain Vetiver, probably one of the greatest perfumes ever made. Sycamore. And I want to say Vetiver Extraordinaire. I'd love to get a bottle of Dior's Vetiver. I don't know. I, like, I can't wear Vetiver consistently. No. It, it, vetiver one time rubbed me the wrong way. I ended up... Um, I was working uh, construction... And I put on, uh, I forgot which vetiver fragrance it was, but I sprayed it on and I was working and I was like working my ass off. And for some reason, the vetiver got so like, it made me so nauseous that like I wrote off vetiver for like years and years and I just stayed away from it. And then I finally, I tried it again and then it was Sycamore. Which I, I I really enjoyed it with the with the Chanel touch. So which one made you sick? I think it was I think it was uh, Vetiver Parfum Cologne from Roja. It's very strong, right? Very concentrated. What? That's the one that's uh, supposed to be like Guerlain Vetiver. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, and because I, I I'm not a fan of Guerlain Vetiver. It's, wow. Okay. It's, it's outdated. Yeah, it's just it's very. Uh, I just it's, think of like like used up cardboard, like really? old cardboard. I don't know. Yeah, I think of like an uncle, like an older uncle or something in a tweed jacket, and that's the texture. That's what I see. I guess it's outdated. That's 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 yeah. what, that's what I get. Vetiver. There has to be. Uh, I always, as you were saying before, like there has to be something working with the vetiver. What you saying? Three drop hours? the link. Maybe somebody will come on. You drop the link. Oh, we we've got somebody here already. So. And we've got the Jad Star. Hey, now. Jad. What's up, everybody? Hour and a half. This. It is a dud blind buy for me. A dud? Is, yeah, I don't like it. It's cheaper removed by Sergio 10. Is it mossy? Mm -hmm. No. It smells what? like cough syrup. Is there cinnamon in there? Uh, no, the notes are pine, honey, and oak moss. But I don't get oak moss. I just get cough syrup. 
And it looks like you've used quite a bit of that as well. I want to finish it, dude. I can't, I can't wait to get rid of it. I just why want to finish it. Why don't you sell it if you're not enjoying it? It's it's almost it's almost as a disciplinary thing, you know? Yeah. You don't want to be wasteful? Yeah, yeah I don't want to be wasteful. And also, you know, it, it, would, it would stop me or second, um, like, rethink blind buying again, especially a search for 10. That's the whole excitement of blind buying is – the anticipation, not knowing. Yeah, that's not a good house to blind buy from if there's ever yeah. been. I, I do love three of their offerings, which I have Shergi, Feminiti de Bois, which is absolutely lovely. It's boozy, fruity, cedar. It's 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 a great fragrance. And also um Fleurs d'Orange. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Yeah. I love it. Very it familiar. A, we talked about a, it in one of the last live streams. Yeah, it's a very well done floral. Really well done. It's, it just smells like good floral fragrance. I just get really like super. You, you took an orange and you, you started rubbing it in your sweaty armpit. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy, thank you for coming on. Everybody in the chat, thank thanks you. for joining us. Good night, awesome. Chad. Good night, Eugene. We'll have fun again. Talk to y'all soon. Richie, dear. How is your meat pie? It's shite. <laughs>